Hello friends, my name is Shannon and I am a third year medical student here to help you through your medical journey of becoming a physician. If you're in need of pre-med advice, med school advice, study motivation, and everything in between, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my other social media. Today, we're going to talk about the best podcasts for step one review. So the scary thing about step one is I feel like I am studying from the period that I wake up all the way until I sleep. And that includes dedicated time blocks for studying as well as multitasking while I'm doing errands or eating with supplemental learning. What that means is I like to listen to a podcast any chance I get, like when you're driving to school or when you're exercising at the gym or when you're doing chores at home. These little pockets of time can be utilized wisely by reviewing the content that you're learning. My favorite way to do that is by listening to podcasts so that I can do other things while still studying. I'm going to share with you guys the best ones that I have found in hope that you can use them to supplement your learning as well. Number one is Med Flash Go. This is an audio question and answer style format where they ask you a question and give you the multiple choice answers, pause and let you answer it. Afterwards, they also tell you what the correct answer is and explain why the other answers are not right as well as characteristics about those answer choices. I love this because it's very interactive. I'm driving and it's very hard for me to zone out because I'm listening to what the question is saying and I'm thinking about how to answer it. So I highly, highly recommend this. Each episode takes five minutes total. So I put it on 1.5 speed and do a bunch in a row. These questions are super high yield. I saw at least one on my step one actually. So I really do think it's a great resource and it's my number one recommended. Because it's so quick to do, I can do a bunch of these. Or if I'm doing something very short distance, I can put it on right away and just listen to it. Instead of starting like a content review type of podcast that might take longer to finish, I don't like it being very choppy and interrupted like that. So having something that's very concise and easy to go through is a must for me. My next favorite one is Spoonful of Sugar. This is a content review type of podcast and the creator is a resident now, I believe, and she basically covers all the high yield topics for everybody's system. I like it because she labels each episode as the topic itself and so very easy for me to find. Let's say that I was having trouble with lymphomas, then I would just find it on the list and I would just listen to the lymphoma instead of content podcast where you have to listen to the whole immuno block to learn about lymphoma. I love the way that she directs her podcast because she would tell you about a topic, ask you a prompting question, and give you a few moments of silence for you to be able to answer that. Again, anything that is active learning, especially if you're not a very good auditory learner like me, will actually really help you pay attention and help you retain what you're learning. In that sense, her podcast is super engaging. The next podcast that I recommend is Golion Lectures. So Golion used to be a pathology professor slash um, physician, and he did a step one review course back in the day. Somebody transcribed it into an audio form. Now it's a podcast and you can listen to it on the go. So I love it because he is very entertaining. Some of his humor is kind of outdated um, as expected, but besides that, he goes over a lot of the high yield material that you need to know. He emphasizes them by saying how high yield they are, and he explains it in a very easy way to understand. The only problem that I have with Golian's lectures is that because
because it was originally made um, in a classroom as a course, he always points and refers to pictures and images that we do not have access to. You can search it up online, but again, I have audio forms of content review because I'm busy doing other stuff. So I can't really be looking at his lectures about these topics and listening to his podcast because that would defeat the purpose of me multitasking. For his podcast, it's separated by body systems. Another podcast that I really love is called Divine Intervention. This is a super useful resource because it actually does content review for USMLE 1 all the way to 3. So it's definitely something that I'm going to keep using. The only downside to this is if you try to listen to it on the podcast app or Apple Podcasts, the podcast episodes are not organized very well because the episodes is just from newest to oldest. And so to listen to this, you would have to go onto their web browser which you can do on your phone and it organizes it way better by test, USMLE 1 through 3, and by topics as well. So this podcast is more of a topic-based podcast review. So that's a lot of podcasts. Do not feel overwhelmed that you have to use all of these resources. I personally use Golion lectures to pair with my classes. So for example, if I was studying neurology, I would be listening to that podcast. I specifically use MedFlash Go and Spoonful of Sugar a lot during my actual dedicated time, as well as divine intervention for certain topics here and there. So feel free to use whatever is best for you. Again, I will link these podcasts in the description bar below, as well as give credit to all of these amazing creators. These podcasts are mostly made by physicians or medical students that want to help other medical students after them. So check them out, and I wish you guys the best of luck studying for this. If you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out to any of my social media platforms. Bye!